it all comes down to one question. Do we have an alternative? Since Facebook is not mending its ways, should we all just log out of it, delete our accounts? Can we do it? Is it even possible? Many of our apps are linked to it. We chat with our friends on Facebook. We interact with our interest groups on Facebook. We share our life events, achievements, memories on Facebook. We even share job openings on this platform. Take a moment and think about it. Can you do without platforms like Facebook? Can you do without WhatsApp? And why just these two? Can you do without such big tech companies in your life? The millennials might think it impossible. Those older would say there was a time when there was no social media in life and life went on just fine. But we can't go back to that age. And why should we? It's not like we are riding camels because cars pollute. We have to look for better alternatives, create them, support them. We have to ensure they're not just good, but also safe. Perhaps local platforms that do not pry on our private lives. You may say a local platform will limit your connections, not give you the same user experience, and you'll be right. Facebook has nearly 3 billion users, almost 32% of the world's population. A local platform is unlikely to have even a fraction of it. But do we really need an exhaustive friend list? Have you heard of the Dunbar number? 150 is the Dunbar number. It is said that we can only maintain around 150 connections at once. There are five people in your tightest circle. You have 15 good friends, 50 friends, and 150 meaningful contacts. British anthropologist Robin Dunbar came up with this theory. The researchers he influenced say the magic number 150 remains true even today in the age of social media. They say the moment your network exceeds 150, it is unlikely to last long or cohere well. It will not bind. Moral of the story, local platforms with not so overwhelming number of users are and can be alternatives. Of late, we've heard of some local platforms in India. What role should governments play in their promotion? Should they limit themselves to legislation or should they actively endorse local players over foreign companies? We say what government should do is create awareness and let people choose. Government should legislate and regulate, talk to people about the importance of safeguarding their data, educate them about how data is misused, how tech monopolies can be dangerous. Governments can encourage local tech companies, perhaps even provide them grants for innovations, but start all this by talking about the problem. You know, in India, when WhatsApp announced its privacy policy, many people, in fact, most people, did not realize what the fuss was all about. They said, we have nothing to hide. And it's not their fault. No one ever spoke to them about data sensitivity. What we need today is digital education. And while we discuss all of this, while we try and find alternatives and solutions, while seven countries try to hold big tech accountable, there is one country that may be having the last laugh. Who do you think I'm referring to? China, unfortunately. It has banned Facebook and all major Western tech platforms. China has its own firewall with big tech becoming a menace. This model, the China model, may be becoming attractive to some countries part of a pattern you know it's it's just like how every time democracy is under threat when events like Capitol Hill happen China gets to showcase its model of governance as the more effective one there is no way Beijing will not try to sell its digital model too it's more profitable than selling dictatorship by the way why do I say this because China wants to stay ahead of the curve in the 5g race if it manages to export its firewall set standards around it it can make money from patents. Technology is integral to China's dream of digital dominance. That is the next battleground. Big tech, with all its nuisance, may be bringing that dream to life. It is creating a mess in our countries and giving China a chance to have the last laugh. Think about it. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.